Maui County has yet to feel the impacts of Hurricane Lane, but county officials and residents are bracing for strong winds and heavy rain. Jen Boniza joins us with an update. Jen? Joe here at Kahului Harbor. As you can see behind me, we've got pretty gray and cloudy skies. The wind is fairly brisk, and the ocean pretty churned up. Just a few moments ago, we actually had a downpour that was enough just to kind of soak us and the ground around us, but it has since stopped. You know, barges have halted shipments between the islands until Lane is cleared, with final deliveries being made to both Lanai and Molokai earlier today. Most businesses are still open, but county services, the post office, and schools were closed here on Maui. Today, preparing for Hurricane Lane. Aside from those closures, no real signs of the storm here yet. Residents continue to stock up on items, including water and other essentials, causing backlogs at Costco and Foodland in Kahului today. We drove down to Kihei, one of the areas that could experience severe flooding, high surf, and storm surges. But conditions were fairly calm in Ma'alai Bay earlier this morning. Boaters, paddlers, and beachgoers ignored the beach park closures and enjoyed the calm before the storm. But Maui Mayor Alan Arakawa wants to remind everyone just how serious this storm is, including visitors. The slowdown of the hurricane um, might lull people into thinking that the danger is not as severe as we know it may be. This is the most serious uh, potential that I've seen, and I've been alive 63 years. So for Maui County, this is one of those things that I don't ever believe we've had this kind of a magnitude in my lifetime. Now, county officials want to remind everyone that shelters are now open on Maui County, Hana High School, Lahaina Intermediate, King Kekaulike, Molokai High, Maui High, Lokilani Intermediate, and Lanai High. And anyone who goes to the shelters are reminded to bring all of the necessities with them. That includes bedding, food, and water. Now, county officials also want to remind visitors and locals alike to avoid going to anywhere that is prone to flooding and to storm surges and could be impacted by the high surf to avoid you being stranded there when the storm does hit land. Also, officials tell me Kahului Airport will make the decision whether or not to stay open or to close tomorrow morning. At this time, our airplanes are still arriving and departing, and Kahului Airport is open. Live from Kahului, Maui, Jen Boniza for KH12 News. Joe?